A celebration of heroes in Ontario tonight. Special awards handed out to men and women for helping others and saving lives. KTLA Shelby Nelson has more on the American Red Cross's Inland Empire Heroes Award Ceremony. They're real life heroes making a difference in their community. I was honored to host the American Red Cross's Inland Empire Heroes Award Ceremony in Ontario. Good afternoon. I'm so excited to be here. Among them, Todd Secrater, deemed the first responder hero. Last December, frantic parents approached him with their one-year-old child who had stopped breathing while they visited the Rancho Cucamonga Thoroughbred Holiday Lights event. Quickly, I got down on one knee, put him over my um, raised knee, and gave him three bl uh, back blows. Eventually, you know, got a smile on his face and uh, saw Dad and knew everything was going to be okay after that. Ooh, I'm getting emotional. Um, first off, I just want to thank God for putting me in that spot. Christina Sanchez and Heather Robertson with the Riverside Police Department named first responder heroes after saving a man attempting suicide. I was taught that if you have it, give it. And Donna Piantoni, the gift of life hero for saving countless lives over 30 years through her continued blood and platelet donations. Maria Garcia and daughter Allison Stevens are good Samaritan heroes after making the life-saving 911 call for an unconscious man suffering from a heat stroke while on a trail run in Orange County. I am glad to update you and to let you know that um, I have forged a good friendship with that trail runner who now is healthy. Animal welfare hero Lindy BG, whose heart is dedicated to the animals. BG addressing the emergency situation in the San Bernardino Mountains. It's going to also be a great surge of animals with no homes to the shelters. So please be there for them. Michelle Martinez, the service to the armed forces hero, helping veterans get the help they need. And last but not least, I started Thunder, Lightning and Peace to be the hope for veterans who feel like they have no hope. At just 17 years old, high school senior Samantha Moreno is the youth hero. After several surgeries of her own, she focused her attention on helping veterans get their own medical care, service dogs, and beyond. We really want to help the person understand you matter. No matter what trauma you go through, you can endure it and you can persevere because there's a community behind you. Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News.